Well, I'm out of clever intro, so let's just go into the game. I did that last episode. All right, go into the game. Hey guys, Super Paper Scrubs here. Welcome back to my Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we started to go through Thwomp Volcano. In this episode, we shall continue in Thwomp Volcano. Towards the bottom, where we're going to be battling the boss. And ironically, it's the boss of every other Mario game. Yes, by saying that, that automatically means it's Bowser. B-O-W-Z-A. Bowser. Alright, so, we're going to want to go over to the right here. And step over on this one. Watch it! What you doing jumping on head? I'm Thwomp, I crush you. You, you, tr yeah, you try to hit block up there, you dumb. You dumb dumb. Dumb dumb, eat gum gum. Thump, fine, hit it. Or not! You think, I'm in a volcano with time on hands. You see hands, no? I bored, we play a game. Okay. <laughs> Thwomp knew it. You have to say okay to be able to move on, so. He didn't really know anything. It's what the game developers made. But I'm ruining the game by saying that, so. Rules easy. Lots of gems up ahead. Get more than a 30. Got it. Good go. So send the bros up into that tornado. Tornado. And send them through this. And collect as many of the rupees as possible. Just kidding, they're not really rupees. I'm not really a pro at this, but I am pretty good. Why is it like lagging now? Is it maybe because I had my editing software open a second ago? Because I'm working on something? Yes, yeah, a Ninja Diffuse montage. Will you stop, please? 20. 21. 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27. Oh, yeah, I got it. There we go. Let's look through here. And there's something over here. Obviously. Oh, just a bunch of miscellaneous items. Oh, did you see that pro just running through there, just getting all of them? Like, a pro? Yeah, but that's what you want to do. You want to come over here so you can get all those badges, items, miscellaneous, poopy stuff. And then you can drop down. Time up! Whoa, you got 32! Good. You do it. Now you hit block. You climb up. Thwally oop You reach it! Jump, and then hit it. And then it will clear our path to go down down. Yes, I said down, down. I'm a baby! Come back again. You know, get off easy next time. And I think you can win miscellaneous items if you go and try to play it with him again. So, yeah. Thwomp, locking blocks gone now. We go down. But anyway, the editing thing that I'm working on is actually a Ninja Diffuse montage for Call of Duty. And I know I've never done Call of Duty before, but I decided, you know what? I really like Ninja Diffusing. It's super freaking fun. It's just the funniest thing when you see some people's reactions on how I ninja defuse against them. It's just the funniest thing ever. You're gonna laugh, and even my friends like react like crazy because I, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it. All right, so yeah, that either should be coming out today or tomorrow, depending on if I can get two more clips for it. Because if I can get two more clips for it today, then it'll come out today. Because I don't have much editing left to do. I just gotta edit those two clips and do it. So yeah. All right, time to head back down to the bottom of the well. And we have to go hit the blue block of blockiness. Now, I think you want to save first, if I remember correctly. So, we want to save first, and then hit the blue block, because I'm not sure if it'll let us save again. I'm pretty sure it will, though, because that'd be kind of jerk by Nintendo. So, basically, we can go down. Yeah, you can save if you'd like, but I'm not going to, because I'm just that awesome. Thwomp! All blocks, block, all blocking blocks gone now. We go down. That sounded kind of demonic. It's Peach! How do you do, Peach? I like how they didn't even notice, it's just like... Yeah. Don't hit babies! <laughs> I don't think I got punted off Yoshi's Island like some scrub. 
No way. I left. On my terms. And now I'm getting ready to launch the revenge scheme to end all revenge schemes. Whoa. This little firebrand reminds me of a younger me. Look at him. The kid's got a flair for evil. Well, he is you, Dumbo. I'm bringing him on board as my partner. And the two of us are going to thrash you losers. This is the real deal. Winner take all. Okay. Yeah, we're bidding. We're bidding. Beginning the battle here with Baby Bowser and Bowser. Now, you can only hit Bowser to start out this phase of the battle. Now, if I'm correct, you can jump on his head because his horns apparently aren't sharp. You must really need to file them down for them not to be sharp, but whatever. So, we're going to start out with this because this seems to be one of the most effective techniques is to start taking down his um, attack slash health because it'll bring it down the more you do it. Especially Ice Flowers. Like, it's a crit hit. And then, we want to use... Think copy flowers. I want to try copy flowers. I'm pretty sure that you can jump on his head. And this does end up lagging a little bit, but copy flowers basically you have to jump with the character. And I don't even look at the characters, I just got the timing down. I just got to look for the size. So that's probably the most effective thing. Oh, what the? I jumped on him though. I press B. Whatever. 87, which is still good. Ah! So, again. I haven't battled this guy in a while, I don't think I've even said that yet, but I haven't battled him in a while, and he is difficult. I gotta admit, Bowser here is difficult, he gave me some trouble when I first battled him. It took me about, like, two months before I actually beat him. <laughs> it's not gonna be that long of a video, trust me. Okay, so let's try trampolines. Trampolines are basically copy flowers, but just not as simplistic. Because you're actually jumping side to side, so it's basically a platformer instead of a jumpy jump thing. So yeah, quickly, um, I'd like to mention how much health they have. Um, Baby Bowser has a thousand health. Regular Bowser's got thousand two hundred. I messed that up. So yeah, that. Now that attack right there, he's gonna create a seismic wave. Now, this is one of the most annoying attacks. 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 All right. What you're gonna wanna do is this battle. This is why it's been so difficult for me. This battle has always kind of pissed me off a little bit. The reason is because when you battle him, you can only get to Baby Bowser when he does a certain attack. What I mean by that is when he does a certain attack, there's only one chance. If you fail that attack, Baby Bowser will stay on his back, not for forever, but until he does that attack again, which I think there's only uh, like a symbol for when he's gonna do that, so. Uh, I'll mention it when he comes, but I know it's using hammers. Whoa, look at this proness! Like, look at this. This is how much you can do. Oh, I click X instead of A. Whatever. 207, just with one. I've gotten 700 before, like, later in the game. Which, I mean, is really good, so. Cannonballer, you want to really take down Bowser's health here, because he's the going to be the biggest worry in the end. Once you actually need to worry about it, but... Just do damage to him, and he'll... Baby Bowser again will sustain, or bring back his health, because he's got, like, unlimited mushrooms. I don't know how. He's probably a shroom seller. All right, here's the attack. Don't let him. Don't let him do. Don't let him mess you up. Oh, frick, I... That's why I don't like that attack. First of all, because what happens if you mess it up? You have to go until he does it again. Now you can defeat Bowser first, which is possible, but extremely difficult and definitely not one of my like things to do. Preferably don't do that, cause that's not the best tactic for this battle. Now this battle can take a freaking long time, so make sure you plan out your time accordingly before doing this battle if you're not ready. I clicked X! BSing me game. Really? Now, the higher he jumps, the quicker the seismic wave that he does will be. Really? Oh my... And then he heals him! Why can't I have someone like that? Why can't I have someone like that? 
That's why this battle pissed me off. And I'm, again, trying not to die at all during this playthrough, so it's super important that I don't die in this playthrough. So, quickly, we are going to prepare. Will you, dick? Don't do that, my lord. All right, here's the attack. Now, the um, the way that his hammer originally starts facing is where um, he's going to start his attack to. Yep, there we go. Now you're gonna hit him away, he'll come back down and do a little bit of damage. And then he will start doing some stupid attacks. Oh, frick, I can't tell! I gotta watch Shadow. Alright, that was when the fun part comes in. You got a whale on a little kid! Yeah, isn't that just nice? But, uh, we already did that early in the game, so it doesn't matter! So, you just gotta pound attacks into baby Bowser here, okay? You gotta make sure he feels the pain. Oh, frick. I messed it up. I probably would've gotten, like, close to 200 if I hadn't messed up. So, time to do some ice flowers. So, again, the most effective attack, I think he goes a couple turns here. So, don't have to worry that much about doing as much damage as possible. But, like, he'll heal himself, too. That's why you want to take him out quick. Because taking him out not quick, not a good idea. Trust me. So, but they will sustain health, and they can, like, he can just be a plain old nuisance sometimes. So that's why you want to take him out. Again, take him out first. You want to do that before even focusing on the regular Bowser. Okay, Luigi, just like 12 times in a row. I used to be such a pro at this as a kid. I'd be like, boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, so close. How much did I do, like 300? 338, like a pro. All right, so let's bring back the copy flower, see if I can do that much again, because I'll really be destroying his health by then. His health will be low, and that'll be good. What's with all the Marios? Jeez. And this is all randomly generated. Again, there's no, like, set out code for what's going to happen. It's totally randomly generated what bros will be coming through. So, yeah. See, now I destroyed him. That's how quick... He can die. He might not actually have a thousand, but it said in the in the guide that I have that it has a thousand. But again, that guy like, always lies to me, as you guys have said before. It's just like, plain out, just wrong. It's kind of weird. But now, there's no way for Bowser to heal. So now it's just a plain out regular boss battle without a secondary person going and healing. So, just focus on killing him, because killing elderly are always fun, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so, time to go with, actually, I probably want to heal the team in case he doesn't attack, then I don't have to use any more of the super stupid mushrooms. Heal the team, and I prepare for his attack, which he does the super seismic wave of super epicness. Then, we can do another ice flower, so. Yeah. <laughs> Again, um, today, that video will most likely come out. If not today, it'll be within the near future. Either today or tomorrow, this video again is coming out. Like, the day that I'm talking about this, as long as I can get it edited. Which I probably can. So. Originally, I will... It's just, like... I always feel like... I've always kind of deserved... To do some sort of Call of Duty videos in some way. It's not like I deserve it, it's more like I've always wanted to do it, just never have. So. Alright, copy flowers. One last time, this should be able to take him out, and then we'll continue with the actual game. So. Again, the battling in this game is really cool, and I like how they totally reinvented it, and I don't think they even had an item in, um... Bowser's Inside Story that was like this, like copy flowers. And some of you guys... <coughs> wow. I, didn't, I haven't coughed at all this episode, but some of you guys have said that, um, what's your name, it? I'm like focusing, I can't think. I forgot, so. Hopefully that killed him, I really hope it did. Super Mushroom! He's getting close, I'll say that. Just dodges attacks, and whenever he does the higher jumping one, he'll occasionally drop down rocks. And then you can't really dodge them sometimes, because they're stupid and annoying and just plain out stupid. <laughs> Alright, so. 
Let's say one cannonballer, because I feel like it. But I've never done Call of Duty videos before, and I gotta admit, I'm pretty good at ninja defusing. I'm not like the best out there that's speedy, but I'm good. There we go, Bowser's defeated. Here we go, we're at 15 minutes, so we got a cutscene after this, and then we'll be done with the episode. Of course. 8 out of 20, should we, should we should have two level ups? Yeah, we should have two level ups, or three level ups, I should say. Alright, minus HP need- ONE! Wow! Okay, I was gonna say Mario's HP needs to get up. Okay, that was good. And Luigi's attack needs to get up. And, uh... Speed is definitely not something I need to worry about here for any of them, but power is something super important when it comes to Baby Mario, because if I ever do the double jump, or... Just with copy flowers and mixed flowers, which will be coming later, but... Crud, crud! Timed perfectly. Look on the upper screen. They're not even like freaking out. They're just like two sprites just standing there looking. Going up into the sky. Clark! Little dude gets. Okay, one second. I need to get my phone. Okay, so Clark, little dude, get stronger, more evil, always. Big dude, I'm gonna be even bigger, stronger, and eviler than you someday. You're gonna be him someday, someday, someday. Bowser goes back to his time, so they actually sealed up that awesome side thing. Where could he be? Oh yeah, that's right. He landed on the mothership. The Shroob Mothership. It's like an afro. It's a thwomp fro. The Shroob Mothership's got a thwomp fro. I like how they're just completely unfazed by the moment. Something is so... Something is blowing a gigantic hole in the side of a mountain. Doesn't matter at all. And then a gigantic, sparkly, Kirby canvas curse, sort of a vacuum, sucks Princess Peach up, and them too, so they just go in it. That seems legit. That's something I want to mention before I forget it. You guys can watch this interesting cutscene of Mario trying to catch Baby Mario and then Luigi catching Baby Luigi. But this game, when I say it's my favorite, I mean in a couple ways. Battling in the story, most of all. Just about everything else doesn't make sense. Kind of like how the whole game, they never end up having a... Like, and aboard the mothership sort of a thing like they just did. They never have that in the rest of the game until now, and it seems like it's just kind of put out there just to make it seem more alienistic and weird. But I don't understand it. I've never understood it, and that's kind of one thing I don't like about this game. But Travis the Princess Peach is nowhere to be seen! Although we ent only entered the thing like two seconds after her, I don't know where she went. Perhaps she's been taken farther into the ship. Of course, we must find her! Come on, Luigi, stop slacking! <laughs> he does like the Michael Jackson thing. Woo! Except he doesn't grab his crotch. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna end off here. Next episode, we will be exploring the Shruby Mothershipy. Yeah, the Shruby Mothershipy. So, I'll see you guys next time for some more Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time.